The president will stop first in Saudi Arabia, where he'll meet with the leaders of more than 50 Muslim nations. He's expected to deliver an important speech on the need to directly confront and defeat radical Islam. The speech is intended to unite the broader Muslim world against common enemies of all civilization and to demonstrate America's commitment to our Muslim partners. CBN News David Brody will be traveling with the president. Stephen Miller, who has worked for Jeff Sessions, yeah. who has worked for Michelle Bachman, very conservative, he's writing that Islam speech. So uh, get, get ready for some potential uh, fighting words. And there's hope in Saudi Arabia for a reset in relations with the United States. Saudi Arabia is delighted. They were very disappointed with President Obama, who they thought favored Iran rather than them. The president then heads to Israel, where he'll meet with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu Monday and Palestinian leader Mahmoud Abbas Tuesday in Bethlehem. One thing the president is not expected to do on this trip, announce the moving of the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, something he pledged as a candidate. But he will visit the Church of the Holy Sepulchre and say a prayer at the Western Wall in Jerusalem. Then it's on to Rome and a meeting with Pope Francis. The two had sharp differences during the campaign season over Mr. Trump's proposed border wall. On Thursday, it's a NATO summit in Belgium and a visit to what was, during Trump's election campaign, the evil empire. The European Union headquarters in Brussels at a meeting with the heads of the EU and the European Council. Trump will also meet newly elected French President Emmanuel Macron. The president will then go to the G7 summit in Sicily before wrapping up his trip with a speech to American and allied servicemen and their families. Dale Hurd, CBN News.